Good day everyone. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to buy products and um, import products from Alibaba to Nigeria and Ghana. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to successfully buy products from Alibaba and um, how to import it to Nigeria and Ghana. So the first thing you need to do is you need to visit the Alibaba website. You can see Alibaba.com. And um, the next thing you need to do here is click on join for free. You can see this join for free button. So you need to register first. So you need to click on this join for free. And once you click on join for, join for free, make sure you have a translator set up on your Google Chrome browser. You can see this is my own translator here. I already explained this in, um, in, in um, 1688 class on how to translate your browser from English, how to translate 1688 from English to, um, sorry, from Chinese to English. So this same thing applies to Alibaba too. So you can see it's already in um, English. So you can also change it from here. You can see it here, alibaba.com. You can see simplify Chinese. You can see English here. So you can change it from there as likewise. So now we want to register on Alibaba. You can see you need to choose your country. I'm choosing Nigeria. Then you need to select your uh, select your trade role. Sorry. So you need to choose whether you want to sell on Alibaba or you want to buy. So for us, we'll be choosing buyer. Then you fill in your email address here. You fill in your password. You confirm your password. That means you need to repeat the password you input here. So you need to repeat it here. You type in your company name. You can use your business name. Any name you feel is okay for you. Then um, your full name will be here. This is for your first name. This is your last name. Then your phone number. You need to input your phone number here. So once you are done with that, you slide this. You, you click on the, the arrow key. Then slide it. So you can see showing verified. So that means you are done with that. Then the next thing you need to do is tick on this and then click on agree and register. So once you do this, you get a notification that you successfully registered an account on Alibaba. So the next thing you need to do is just to confirm your email address. They'll send you an email address to confirm your email address. And once you do that, you'll be able to log in successfully on Alibaba. So I'm not going to be registering now because I already have an account on Alibaba. So I'll just go straight to Logging in my account on Alibaba. So now let's go back to the home page. Let me log in my account. So now I'm just, I'm just going to click on sign in. Then you can see I was previously signed in on my account. So you just click on continue. And just log in like that. So I've signed in on Alibaba. So now let's see. Let's assume we want to purchase um, a beauty product here. Let me look for a beauty product. So you can see the category. You can see the way the interface looks like. So on your mobile phone, it might be different, but it's still same process, same procedure. So now let's just look for beauty product. Okay, you can see beauty and personal care. So you can buy any product of your choice there. So I just want to use um, this beauty product for an example. So let's see. Okay, you can see this height booster. And see this height booster. So let's assume we want to purchase this product. Let's assume we want to purchase this product. So we click on this. So now to purchase any product from any supplier on Alibaba, you need to make sure they, um, they, they meet up with some requirements. You need to make sure that they are verified and um, they have good reviews. And at the same time, their years of operation is at least maybe five years, six years. So let's check. This particular supplier is just one year supplier, like their establishment is just one year and um, is a silver supplier. It's not a gold supplier. So let's see. Let's see his reviews. Let's see his review. Okay. So it does not have um, any review. I don't think the supplier has a review. Which means this product, so you can see, 
no review yet no review so but let's assume you are buying from a supplier and um, the supplier is not a good supplier and does not have um, it does not meet up with the year requirement like it's not up to five years or six years and then um, also you can't find a review on their page on their product page and you still feel like you need to buy from that supplier maybe the product is scarce or you are just seeing it with that particular supplier the only thing to save yourself from getting scammed here is you you charge the supplier tell them you want to purchase the product from them you tell them you are paying with trade assurance there's something we call trade assurance on alibaba trade assurance is um when you pay to alibaba to pay to the supplier once you use trade assurance, uh, assurance sorry to pay to supplier on alibaba alibaba will be the one receiving the payment on on the supplier's behalf and once your product is delivered successfully and you don't have any complaint is when alibaba is going to re release the funds to them so if you have any issue with the product or the, the supplier didn't deliver the product you can always request for refund when you use this trade assurance so that's just if you want to buy from a supplier that you feel is not so you 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 don't really trust and you want to avoid you want you, you want to avoid falling into the um, falling victim of getting scammed so that's just that so but for me i won't be buying from this supplier because it's not a good supplier and I'll, at the same time it's just one year supplier like is um um his establishment is just one year he just created this business one years ago so let's just look for another supplier let me just look for another supplier i'm still going to go through that beauty products let me just to use that same beauty product other categories let's see okay beauty and personal care so let me just look for another product here okay baby care baby art fragrance deodorant okay let me use beauty equipment let me check beauty equipment okay so now to easily source for supplier that is verified and um, is a good supplier we can always use this filter i'm going to show you the filter now so you can see it here at the the left side of your screen you can see the filter here. you can see supplier type so you need to tick on this trade assurance so you need to tick on it that you the supplier you want to buy from us to support trade assurance because not all suppliers support trade assurance so you want to ensure that the supplier you are buying from supports trade assurance that is you can pay to them and feel comfortable that they, you won't get scam so at the same time you need to check you can see product type ready to ship you you can just leave this it's not so important let's see so let's see that future what other things you need to check here so you can also choose on choose this verified supplier make sure it's verified is a verified supplier you're buying from so you can see one hour's response time this is also important actually because if you are buying from a supplier that is not so active like that you might not get feedback on time when maybe you are you are you want to buy a particular product from a supplier and then um, you've charged the supplier up and then um, the supplier has low um response rate or response time you might have to wait for a while before you get response from that particular supplier so that's why it's better to choose to buy from a supplier that um that has um that has speed um sorry that has fast response time so let's just choose this one hour response time and you can leave it it's not so important anyway you can leave it on ticked so now let's see let's see if we want um, let's see if we can see any product we want to purchase here okay let's assume we want to buy this product and just use any random product sorry let me use any random product okay let's see check okay sorry let me just look for let me just go to another category let's just look for something else let me go to another category okay so equipment no not satisfied with this category
let me just look for another category I'm not satisfied with that category okay let me just go for clothing let's see let me just choose men coats or men let's choose men coats so i just want something very easy that will be able to explain better so let's see so make sure you use the filter select trade assurance and um, tick on verified supplier as well so you can just leave that response um, time on ticked you can leave it on ticked so you can leave that on ticked like I said so let's just look for the supplier to buy from so you can see all the supplier are verified supplier so you can always check the years to their years of operation you can see it's eight years this one is eight years this one is seven years this one is six years so let's assume we want to buy this coat so now you can see this supplier is a six year supplier and is a silver supplier so like i said if you want to buy from suppliers on alibaba actually the gold supplier are the best to buy from like it's more like verified they are, they are verified suppliers compared to other um categories of supplier so you but you can also buy from um silver supplier too so all you just need to make sure is you need to check the years you need, you need to check if they are verified and you need to make sure you are using the trade assurance um payment method so let's see if this supplier has review let's see transaction 70 770 thousand so it means the supplier has supplied over 770,000 of this material of this product or their total product let's just see transactions okay so let's just see their store rating So that store rating once you click on that you'll be able to see the reviews of that product you see who the people that have purchased product from them that purchase um yeah product from them or they have buy their product so you can see these people already purchased from this particular supplier you can see the reviews amazing amazing very good communication product we have very high quality so these are things you need to check out for when you are buying from alibaba supplier let me just go back and show you the way i did that So like I said, three things you need to check before purchasing from a supplier on Alibaba. The first thing is you need to check if the supplier supports trade assurance. You need to check if the supplier supports trade assurance. And the second thing is you need to check the years. Make sure the supplier is at least five years old. Um, five years um, old in operation or five years operation or how would I put it? Like has been, uh, has been operating for five years or more. And at the same time, make sure it's a gold or silver supplier or um, is a verified supplier and make sure they, they also have good reviews. So you can see this supplier support trade assurance. You can see protection trade assurance. It supports trade assurance. So you can pay this particular supplier using trade assurance payment system and um, or payment method. And um, also, like I said, this supplier is six years. So it means this supplier has been operating for more than five years so it's six years um supplier so another thing you need to check is um the review so to check the review you can see here we have store rating sorry sorry so you can see here we have store rating here so you can see store rating here you can see 4.9 um, um slash um five so this is store rating here yeah? so you click on this you click on the digit there so once you click on it it will take you to the reviews 
the reviews of that um, supplier you are buying from. So you can see this is the supplier's review. You can see the review. So you need to just go through all these reviews and check if there's any bad reviews there about that um, supplier. Maybe people have been complaining that the product is not okay or so many other things like that. So you need to just check all this. So once you check all this and um, you find out that the supplier product is okay, you can then go ahead to make your decision whether to buy from the supplier or not. So like I said, make sure the supplier you are buying from is a gold supplier or a silver supplier. Make sure it's over five years. He has been operating for more than five years. And um, the third thing is check their reviews. Make sure they have good reviews. You need to check if their product is okay because it's from the review you'll be able to check the quality of their product so check their reviews and um, also make sure they support trade assurance make sure they support trade assurance so you'll be able to buy from them without getting scared of losing your money so that's just that so now let's proceed to buying um, product let's see how to purchase from this particular supplier the next thing you need to do here is um, click on contact supplier you can see contact supplier so if you want to buy from this particular supplier what you just need to do is click on contact supplier or you click on chat now is that you click on contact supplier or you click on chat now but most times i i do prefer to click on chat now so but if you click on um, contact supplier you'll be asked to fill in your email address and then you request you you type a message about the product you want to purchase from this particular supplier you can attach the image and many other things like that so the supplier is going to get back to you within few hours or minutes so that's just that but this chat now you can chat with the, uh, with the supplier instantly so you can see i'm logged out already let me just click on continue so now let's assume i want to chat with this supplier okay now let's click on chat So you click on chat now. So you can see this is the supplier account. You can see the supplier chat um, box. So you can see the message we already left here. You can see the um, options you can select from his own um, auto responder. I don't know how to put this. So but well, let's assume you want to purchase from this particular supplier. You can see products. Once you click on this product, it will show you some of these products. You can say, okay, I want to ask more about your related, um, your product related question. You can see, can you do printing, all those stuff. But for me, I'll just type hello. And then once I message the supplier, I'm going to tell them what I want to purchase from them. I'm going to send the picture to them. Um, I might print a screenshot the picture or download the image then send it to them that that's the product i want to purchase from them and i'll tell them the quantity i need and um, i'm going to send them my shipping agent address so it's better when you're buying from alibaba don't tell the supplier to ship your products from china to um to ghana or nigeria if you are buying from alibaba tell the supplier to ship the product to your shipping agent warehouse in china it is cheaper that way if you are using their own shipping service where they have to send the product down to you to Ghana or Nigeria, it will be very, very expensive. The shipping fee will be very, very expensive. That's why it's advisable to use your own shipping agent, your Chinese shipping agent, to ship the product down to Nigeria and Ghana. So all you just need to do is you have to charge your Chinese agent or request for their shipping address, then you send it to the supplier. You send it to supplier I want to buy from on Alibaba. So once you send the address to them, you tell them the quantity of the product you want to buy and the description, you explain everything to them. And you tell them you want to pay using trade assurance. So make sure you tell them you want to pay using trade assurance. So once you tell them this, they will create a trade assurance order for you. They'll be the one to create the order for you. And once they create it, they'll send you the link. So once you receive the link, you just confirm. And then you see the details of the orders there. You confirm everything. Then you click on proceed to make payment using that trade assurance. So you see the payment. You can pay with your ATM card. You can pay with any uh, means. You can pay with ATM card actually or debit or credit card so once you make payments using pre trade assurance you'll be you'll be how like put it you you are more secure compared to you you using um, the normal payment method on alibaba so that's just the process of buying from um, this supplier once you chart them up tell them the quantity you want to buy show them the sample of the product you want to purchase from them then um, tell them the 
the address you show them your shipping agent address in china that you want them to send the goods down from um their, their warehouse to your shipping agent warehouse in china so once they do that you tell them you need the tracking number too as well you tell them you need the tracking number of the product so once they send your product down to your shipping agent they have to send you a tracking number these suppliers on alibaba has to give you a tracking number and once you get that tracking number you send it to your shipping agent in china to help you track the product to help you check if they've received a package so that's just that and once they receive the package they ship it down to you in nigeria and um, ghana so like i said um make sure the supplier you are buying from is a gold supplier or a silver supplier they'll make sure they are verified as well and then also make sure the the years of operation is more than five years at the same time check their reviews before buying from them so these are the things you need to check before buying from a supplier before making decision to buy from a supplier and also check if they support trade assurance and whenever you are buying from them make sure you tell them you are paying using the trade assurance payment method so tell them all this and um, let them generate the trade assurance payment um, trade assurance order for you and you'll be able to pay using the trade assurance method so that's just that on how to purchase product from alibaba and also how to import product from china to uh, from alibaba to nigeria and uh, ghana